Welcome to part three of the Rhodes investigation and in this part we're going to make our own power supply for the preamp. Now when I got my panel it was missing this part and it's a fairly bespoke looking part that I struggled to see how I could get hold of. It requires three different voltages, we've got 15 volts plus 5 volts and then a minus 15 volts. So it's fairly complicated but we can kind of create a linear power supply that should do the job without any issues. Now when dealing with mains voltages I'm just going to err on the side of caution and not share what I've created. If you are stuck for a power supply just do some googling there are plenty of examples out there. And then yeah so I've made this. This one I haven't quite put the 5 volts on yet but I'm just going to give it a quick test and we'll be able to see on the multimeter what voltages we're creating. So I'll connect the black probe to the earth and then we get a positive 15 volts and then a minus 15 volts so this seems to be working well. I do need to make a better enclosure for it and put on some better cables but that's the next step. So I've got this connector here and I'll put the description in the description and this is the one you re it's required to fit into the the Rhodes Mark 7 preamp and then on the other end I'm using the DIN 4 connector which maybe wasn't the best idea as that's used on the Mark 1 suitcase and then I've used some wire from a CNC machine as this has got four different wires on the inside and this has allowed me to kind of create a nice wire between my power supply and the piano so I figured before we build this and go too far, let's get this plugged in and see if we actually get any life from the preamp, see if it actually works. We can plug it in and then we can turn on the preamp and then we have life. We've got some wonderful blue LEDs flashing away there. That's great to see. So on the left, you've got like a power indicator. That's nice to see. And then on the right, we've got the vibrato tremolo um, speed indicator which once more is really nice to see but I, I'm going to leave that there for this part we've still got a little bit to go with the action so that's going to come next but until then I'll catch you later